Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum uncovered this story. He's in Webster now with what he knows. Joel? Dominique, to put it plainly, what's going on down here in Webster appears to be a big mess. We're closer to the beginning than the end of it, so it hasn't fully unraveled yet. But I can tell you some big people in these parts appear to be wrapped up in it, including the fire chief. In Webster, the town of 10,000 on NASA's doorstep, there's trouble brewing. The longtime fire chief, Patrick Ship, is now on administrative leave and under investigation by Webster's city attorney. The allegations are numerous against the chief, among them that Ship's 2008 city job application left out his criminal record, which we've confirmed includes DWI, public intoxication, and felony theft. Ship told us by phone, quote, I don't know why I wouldn't put it on there because we do background checks. Other potential issues involve public safety, including the Webster Fire Department's ISO rating. Essentially, it measures how good the fire service is. That rating directly affects homeowners' insurance rates. Webster has the best possible rating, one. But the application channel to investigates obtained does not appear to accurately reflect the city's actual resources. Fire Station 2 hasn't had a fire truck in it in years. Instead, it houses a private firm's ambulances. Chief Ship told us, quote, nothing has been done maliciously. We will look to rectify anything so that it's all on the up and up. Chief Ship's attorney by phone today told me this is a vicious attack coordinated by the mayor. The mayor did not call us back today. I can tell you that an assistant fire chief was also involved in this investigation and has since resigned. Also, just this morning, the city manager resigned. He was not named in the investigation, as I understand it. We're live in Webster tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.